So in a simple random sample, we select the sample so that each item has the same chance of being selected, right? How do we do this? Well, we do this through the use of random numbers or random number generators, random number tables or random number generators. So let's go ahead and talk about an example real quick. So the example that we're told is that there are 750 major league baseball players at the end of the 2016 season. A committee of 10 players is to be formed to study the issue of concussions. I don't know why they're studying concussions in baseball. Are there a lot of concussions in baseball? No, right? Is it pretty bad one? They have <laughs> yeah, okay, but the, the, the book says concussions. Um, maybe they meant football? Yeah, it just shows how much academics are tuned into the sports world, right? They're like, baseball, concussions, right? Yeah, totally, that, that makes sense. <clears throat> so to make sure that every player has an equal chance of being selected, they write the name on a piece of paper, place the names in a box, mix them all up, and draw 10 of the names, right? So that is uh, one way for us to do it. The other way that we could do it is we could use a table of random numbers. So a table of random numbers is going to look something like this, where it's just going to have random 5, 10, doesn't matter how many digits, numbers in some sort of sequence from left to right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then it goes down to 8, 9, 10, so on and so forth. And so the way that we use a random list of numbers is first we prepare a list of all the players, number them 1 through 750. And then we're going to pick a random starting place on the random number table. And then third, we're going to select 10 three-digit numbers. And this is an important one. that are, and then here's the important part, it has to be between 1 and 750. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to find that random starting point, and we're going to look at the first three numbers there, and so we're going to assign that first player the number 37. I'm sorry, that's going to be the first player that we're selecting. So we, we numbered them 1 through 750. So there's a player that is going to be the 37th player. So that's going to be, so 37th player, I don't know any baseball players. We're just going to say A-Rod. So the 37th player is A-Rod, and so their number came up. So they're going to be selected on the list, right? The 38th player, you know, somebody else, uh, Paul Buttigieg, I don't know, uh, is going to not be selected, right? That's, uh, that's Pete Buttigieg's uh, long-lost cousin. So this is going to tell me who's going to be selected in this 1 through 750. So the 37th person is selected. The 447th person is selected. But what's going on here? Why do we skip these two values and go right to 189 to find that third player on the 10-player committee? Why are we skipping... 96,108 and 78,400 and... Not valid numbers. Right, because 968 is not between 1 and 750. Because 784 is not between 1 and 750. So then we go to that next one, 189 is between 1 and 750, right? So on and so forth until we end up with all 10 of our players. So we'd end up with... 
So this is our fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Oh, but since this tenth is 189 again, that's not going to work. So then we're going to have to go to 114 for the tenth. So the 67th, the 628th person, the 39th person, the 173rd person, the 491 person, and the 38th person on that list, these are all selected for that. But if we have the same value come up like 189 again, then we have to skip that and go to another value. Okay.